Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. You know, family, it's something to be said for uh, your behavior. If you so turned off by it and so ashamed of it, then you shouldn't be doing it. And that's what I started thinking about. Anything that I'm really ashamed of or, you know, I got to hide and do or something like that, that's something that I don't need to be doing. Okay? So if I have certain proclivities and I'm ashamed of them, and I don't feel that it's a free expression of who I am as an expression of the creator, then I shouldn't be doing it. Okay? In my opinion. In my humble opinion. Other than that, unless, in my opinion, you don't do anything to hurt the human family, you are entitled to your feelings, your beliefs, and all the things that go in between. Um, because you you know you have the right to live your own truth. And so by me saying that, that's why this next story is so damn pathetic. Um and it's so sad um, for people trying to push a bill. Well, y'all know who it is, GOP, uh, white supremacist trying to push a bill to <laughs> not teach and ban teaching history of slavery yeah. in this country. Now, you didn't say that about the Jewish Holocaust or anything like that, but they said it about slavery. They don't want to teach that it's that volatile. Now, instead of them confronting the first sin, instead of them confronting it, Let's get it on the table. Let's get it out in the open, which we have. Let's talk about it. Let's let's uh, um, make amends. And how do we do that? By holding yourself accountable. By um, having retribution and reparations, repair for the people you hurt. Ain't no way around that. There's an African proverb that says, truth. Press to the earth will rise. And how come y'all don't understand that? And see, America, you have, you just showing out, you showing your ass, you showing your ass, and you're going to fall just like all the other great empires because your heart is hard, just like the Herod. Your heart is so hard that you're trying to deal with anything other than to address your dirty, rotten draws when it comes to slavery. When it comes to the child of slavery and the dehumanization of Africans that you brought here and the indigenous people that were here in America. And because you don't want to make no amends, you don't want every treaty that you've made with the Native America, the Native American, did you honor it? Hell no, you did not honor it. Did you keep your word? Hell no, you did not keep your word. That's why I said, although I'm definitely a supporter of HR 40, I'm a supporter of uh, Adolf, I'm a supporter of Encobra, I'm a supporter of anybody who wants to do a repair work for what has been done to my ancestors on this planet. That's number one. However, y'all only really think these evil, low-down, rotten snakes are going to honor it? These thieves and bandits? Do y'all actually think that they are going to honor anything that they put in writing? I don't. I have no faith in these demonic, um, narcissistic, uh, projectionists I have none I have no sympathy for people that sit up there and look at me dead in my face and lie 
And for those of y'all who like that kind of behavior, those of y'all who um, think that that means you're strong and you're sharp and yeah, 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 you need a psychotherapist to see and go into what damage was done to you when you were a child. When you were in a hostage situation, as most children are, and your parents did stuff to you that were probably so egregious that you done blacked it out, but something is wrong that you could follow this type of mindset that you would just lie. Lie, lie, lie for the benefit of a one, a man. Another man, you would lie. Not tell the truth, but you would lie. And it doesn't just go down to the election or was stolen. It goes to you evangelical Christians who play like you love the Lord so much, but that, but your leader has been accused of rape. That type of stuff. That type of hypocrisy. You are insane. You are totally insane. And how do you expect the people to lead you? And anybody that's got a half a brain, a half a brain, need to come out from that and get that destroyed. Otherwise, guess what? America's on his last leg. I don't really think it can be saved, y'all, but I don't want to sound pessimistic. Especially, especially in a time where so much is going on. But I don't have a lot of faith in this, especially when you hire and uh, or vote in people like Marjorie, or Marjorie Taylor Green, and you know you got black people like Candace Owens. I, I mean, it, it, the game goes on and on. And on. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Two point um, Uncle Tom. Uh, I mean, Sambo. Ten point It's just uh, wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat of cycle madness. So I, at some point you have to get away from the activity and you have to come down. Like I always tell y'all, like the bottom of the ocean where it's peace and it's serene. Because what's going on up there on top is complete and sheer madness. And so when you learn how to compartmentalize your spirit, from what's going on with this stuff, you're going to have to take a moment and go down to the bottom of the ocean and just rest for a minute. Because what's going on on top of the ocean, or on top of the lake, or wherever you want to call it, on, on top, is too much activity, causation-bound madness. And it's enough lies to bust the stomach of a brass monkey. Truth Pressed to the earth will rise. So you can try to camouflage and act like you didn't do slavery and it was all good and don't talk about it and we're going to make it a law not to teach it, but you will not be successful. It will not stop truth. It will not stop truth because when you press it to the earth, it will rise. It will rise. You are not all powerful. You are not almighty. And my ancestors will not be mocked. They just won't. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that something can save humanity from these Neanderthals. I hope something can save humanity. Can, can humanity survive these maniacs? These Vikings, these Berserkers, these Neanderthals. Can humanity survive them and the vampires that they've bitten in the neck? With that being said, before I go too far, I'm going to get on off this thing. If you like what you hear, please like y'all, subscribe y'all, and share and listen. Because you know, I, my subscribers go and come, go and come, go. And come. I don't even know, but I make these videos because it's it's more therapeutic for me than anything. Just like when I sing, it's very it's it's for me. I don't sing, so um somebody else can get the glory. 
that the ancestors have blessed me with. When there's a song in my heart, I sing it. Not for your glory, for your approval, for your validation, none of it. I sing it because it's a gift from God. And God is to be honored. Okay? And your expressions of your creativity are to be honored. Each and every one of you. So if anybody trying to smack that down from you, don't let them. Because those are your gifts that was on, that was bestowed upon you from the great beyond. All right? So with that being said, try to stay straight and even keel when you're dealing with these people that are just not uh, human. Who uh, will look at you in your face and have no empathy and lie and lie and lie and push lies to you. Try to remain some semblance of normalcy as you move out of their um, presence and realize them fighting the push to ban the teaching of uh, slavery um, and them trying to withhold that information and trying to keep that information a secret or, it, you know, which is, so, you know, it's so stupid. It's like a um, Pandora's box, right? You know, opened up the box. Everybody know what's going on. Everybody know about slavery now. Everybody know about the uh, the battle of when whiteness was invented. We've had Tim Weiss. We've had uh, Jane Elliott. We've had them all. <laughs> I mean, and to think, in spite of all of this, I mean, in, in spite of all of this, you know, you now want to act like it ain't happened. <laughs> it didn't happen. Don't teach it. Don't talk about it. It will go away. It will make people not be so upset. Um, it's 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 not something that we want to revisit. We want to talk about because it don't. It serves no purpose. Well, for who? The truth always serves a purpose. The truth always serves a purpose. I know I got to get off of here, but let me just say it. The truth always serves a purpose. So with that being said, family, uh, 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 uh. Woo. I mean, these people, these people are pathetic. They're pathetic. Don't want to teach history. It didn't happen. A ban on teaching anything that has to do with slavery. How weak and how much a liar of a liar is there's no repentance in you. And so there will be no peace for you. All right, family, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, give me your comment and tell me what y'all think. What am, I, am I tripping? Am I tripping? Okay, family, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.